Okay, here are my thoughts on the whole fight between Epic Games and Apple. Now, on one side, Apple did break the rules. They did violate Apple's terms of service for the iOS App Store by implementing their own payment system within Fortnite. They did do that. That is factually true. When people talk about the subject, they focus on that, and that is correct. They did violate that rule. And Apple was within their rights to remove the game from their store. That's all well and good. But they stopped there. They stop there and they don't talk about the elephant in the room. The, the one thing that I know about very well, and a lot of other people who have been following Apple's behavior in their app store from literally the beginning, they don't talk about this. Tiger used to be a big Apple person, and he had a MacBook. He had a, he had a couple of them, and he's not anymore and mainly because of Apple's behavior that he stopped using Apple products and he switched back to Windows completely and I went on to Linux but and I'm back on Windows again but I have been watching the situation with Apple and how they treat developers on the iOS store and it's not good and a lot of people who talk about this and chime in on this whole situation, they focus mainly on what Epic did. And they side with Apple. And, you know, it. yes, the rules are on Apple's side here. What they don't talk about is Apple's bad behavior with developers. The fact that they do play favorites on their store they allow some to break the rules and not others they don't enforce the rules the same way for everyone other uh, streaming apps they don't uh, force them to go through their store payment system for that um, other apps they allow them to have their own internal payment systems their own separate payment systems for their apps, and that's, you know, that's in violation of their own rules, and they don't enforce it, and they allow these other apps to do this. So they don't enforce the rules consistently with apps on their, on their platform, but with others, they vehemently force others to conform to their rules, conform to what they they want them to do and they will even even remove apps that really don't violate the rules they they have had a history of doing this of removing apps that didn't violate the rules but they just removed it because they wanted to or they removed them because they compete with their own apps because apple has this apple arcade that they are coming out with and they banned xcloud uh, from their platform and now they have this rule now where yeah you can have streaming with xcloud and, and stadia but every single game on the platform has to be a separate app and this is the sort of thing that's been going on for well over a decade this this thing between epic and apple is not anything new this has been going on for a long time And if it wasn't Epic that stepped in and finally called Apple out on the things that they were doing, if it wasn't Epic, it was eventually going to be someone else. Possibly Microsoft or some other a larger company that's capable of picking this fight with, with Apple. Because, you know, Apple's a big company. Apple is a very, um, very rich company. Epic's got some coffers, not quite as big as Apple does, but they've got some coffers, and so does Microsoft. 
So either, either one could have picked a fight with them, or Google could have gone after them. For, for a long time, there was even a fight between Apple and Google over their apps because some of Google's apps were com directly competing with some of Apple's internal apps. And even Apple had made it hard for alternative apps to even work properly on their platform so that they couldn't properly compete with their own apps. So, they have a long history of douchebaggery when it comes to treating you know, developers on their platform. Well, again, if it was an epic, it was going to be somebody else. Somebody else was going to pick this fight. This has been a very long time in coming. I was expecting this at some point. Because the store had been around for a little more than 10 years. The first iPhone came out, what, in 2007, I believe? It's, it's been a while. So, this is a fight I've been expecting for a while. Now, is Epic in the wrong? Did they break the rules? Yes. Is Apple violating the law? I think they are. I think they do constitute a monopoly on their platform. They are... They consistently suppress competing apps. They don't... Um, uniformly enforce the rules. They play favorites on their app store. This is clearly anti-consumer behavior. Very clearly anti-consumer behavior. Now, there's another thing that Apple was wanting to do, and that is uh, remove the epic um, developer tools. Now this will impact a lot of games, because a lot of games use the Unreal Engine on iOS. They wanted to remove that account, and all those games that use that engine wouldn't be able to update their software. It would impact a lot of game companies. It would probably destroy some of them, not being able to update their games, or even upload new games that they're currently developing to probably destroy them and it is extremely costly extremely costly to switch to another engine mid-development uh, so if they went from unreal to unity for instance it would be very costly to do that because not all the assets are, are compatible with one another. They would have to convert assets or even recreate them entirely. That's expensive. That's expensive work. And a lot of these companies can't afford to do that. And legally, legally, it might even this might even be illegal for Apple to do this. Now, some people who criticize Epic on this, say Apple's in their right to do this. They're in their right to remove Epic's, you know, developer account because they broke the rules. What they don't get, and this is important, what they don't get is that Fortnite and the Unreal Engine are legally, on paper, legally on paper, run by separate companies. Epic Games is not the company that develops the Unreal Engine. It's, um, it's Epic... I think it's Epic International or, or, or... It's a completely separate entity on paper in tax information. It's a completely separate entity, completely separate company. Which means... Apple would remove, be removing a developer account of a company that is not involved in the lawsuit against them with Epic Games. They would be targeting a company that is completely separate from this whole fight. Which 
may get them into some trouble, legal trouble. A judge has issued a injunction stopping this, and certainly if they do remove the account, if they if they remove it in violation of the court order, they could be found in contempt. It would certainly this would certainly get regulators involved, especially if all those impacted game developers were to complain to the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission. Apple's treading on really, really dangerous ground here. Uh, there have been a lot of complaints about Apple against Apple over the years with the Federal Trade Commission. This could be what finally, you know, this could be the straw that breaks the camel's back and makes the FTC step in and say, you know, we're going to finally do something about you. Apple could be broken up like AT&T was. Apple could end up broken up. The iPhone division could end up being splintered off from, you know, from the rest of Apple. And that would, that would probably impact their plan to switch over to ARM entirely. Who knows? Um, who knows where this is going to go? But at this point, with everything that's been going on with the uh, store and with what Apple has been doing and the number of complaints from developers that have been going to the Federal Trade Commission, which there have been many, that those records are public. Apple, I think, is in... Uh, Apple, I think, is in some serious trouble. They are some, in some serious trouble. If they, if they follow the petty road, they, if they act petty in this and remove the uh, Unreal Engine's developer account, this could be the catalyst that starts serious legal action against them by the Federal Trade Commission and possibly even the EU. Because a lot of those developers are overseas in Europe. And if they go to the European Commission and say, you know, tell them that what Apple is doing, we're not involved in this case at all, we're not involved in this argument, yet we're being punished because of what the developer of Fortnite did. And legally on paper, the Unreal Engine is handled by a separate company that is not associated with Fortnite. Then the EU will likely step in the Federal Trade Commission will likely step in, and it will become a much bigger, much dirtier, much nastier fight. And Apple could end up getting seriously hurt over this. As I said, this is a fight that's been a long time in coming. I've been watching this off and on. Their behavior, it's been really bad. And... I know that Google hasn't been the best when it comes to treating um, Android developers, and certainly the game consoles haven't for on their platforms. But Apple's been a real right douchebag when it comes to dealing with the developers on their platform. They've been really bad. And this is something that's going to blow up in their face. If they do the stupid and they remove the Unreal Engine account from their platform, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, the regulators will come. The regulators will come. And Apple's not going to like what happens next. Anyway, those are my thoughts on the whole thing. You know, whether you like Fortnite or not, a lot of people don't like Fortnite, and that sort of colors their opinion on it. I've never played the game, so I have no opinion on Fortnite. Anyway, those are my thoughts on the whole Apple versus Epic fight. What, uh, what do you think? Put your comments 
below and let's get a discussion going. Or you can head on over to Gamers Bay and uh, talk about it there in MeWe. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time.